What's going on guys? Today we're gonna to be talking about one of my recent short videos where I interviewed a 22 year old bodybuilder. Natty or not? What do you think bro? I'm 22. You're 22 years old? Really? Yeah. That's it? Damn. Um, that's Natty, bro? With the beard and the shit and going well. Well, I was going to come around and be like, so we're going around interviewing all the natural bodybuilders in the gym. Oh, yeah. Like, what are your guys' training routines like? Uh, no, I'm just kidding. Um, okay, yeah. So, so I would, like, assume, year, I would assume not natural. That's why I asked. Okay. <laughs> and yes, I know he does not look 22, and that is what we're going to jump into in the topic of today's video. First, no disrespect to the guy. He seems very genuine, very nice. It was a pleasure to actually talk to him and interview him. But it brings the question into mind, is gear or anabolics worth it when you get to a certain level? Because a 22 year old kid, you're supposed to have a youthful appearance. You're supposed to be just getting out of high school into your college years. This is supposed to be like the time when you're growing, developing, and you still definitely, without a doubt, have your youth. You're still incredibly young. I posted this short video on Instagram, TikTok, YouTube shorts, and it blew up. And of course, of course, a majority of the comments were just like gunning for this dude's throat, just going all in saying, you know, 22, maybe like 20 years ago. 22 going on 52, when you sacrifice everything for bodybuilding. 22 years since his last divorce. And the comments just went on and on. I mean, hopefully he didn't like read into it too much or care too much, but it does bring the question up. Is it worth it to age yourself that much? Now I should jump to the point, do I think he looks that old without a beard or the body hair, but still without a doubt. I mean, I did a quick like once over of his profile just to see like how much the transformation has been over the last couple of years. And I can say it is pretty crazy. Over the last couple of years, he has aged what seems like 10 to 15. And once again, this is no disrespect. If that's what he wants to do with his life, by all means, I encourage it. You know, live your life to the fullest, do what you want to do. If that's what makes you happy, go for it. But I just want to make this video because I have a lot of new fans, a lot of people who are questioning if this actually happens from anabolics or gear, or what actually causes this, is it just his genetics? And I want people to take the safest and most effective route possible and know what they're getting into. So if you're running your cycles, your gear, you're stepping your little feet through that door of becoming unnatural and you're running reasonable dosages, you're not doing anything super crazy, you're just trying to maybe further your physique ever so slightly or maybe even just a little bit more, you're probably not gonna run into severe aging, but if you are on the other end of the spectrum where you're abusing, you're going super hard, you're trying to become a pro bodybuilder, you're doing open bodybuilding, maybe even classic physique, maybe even men's physique at this point because these guys are like damn near as big as the classic physique competitors and you're just blasting like nonstop and not taking time off, I guarantee you are gonna age so incredibly quick. Because what is happening is you guys may have seen if you go to like a, your nearest rehab center, people that have abused hardcore drugs generally have an older looking appearance than people who have stayed clean their entire life. And it's because of the havoc you have wreaked internally. Now, of course, most bodybuilders and everyone are gonna look aesthetic on the outside, right? They're gonna look muscular, they're gonna look vascular, you're gonna see their muscle striations. Oh, all is fine and dandy. But majority of these people aren't doing blood work. Go do your blood work. If you need it, link in the description down below. They're not checking their cholesterol, they're not checking their liver enzymes, they're not checking how their heart is doing. They're just destroying themselves internally for this look on the outside. And what happens when you destroy yourself internally is then on the external, your body starts to show it. You start to age faster. You start to look more withered down. And I really think that's the case of what happened to this young 22 year old. But once again, you know, that's his choice. If that's something he wants to do, by all means, go for it. But I want people to be aware that if you are gonna abuse and you are gonna go super crazy on compounds and you wanna become a pro bodybuilder and you're running the craziest cycles, it will age you and it will speed up the process. Just how you heard him talk about in the interview how he's going bald and he has a beard and that should answer the question if he's natural or not. Just jumping back to that topic, if you're taking anabolics, you're taking gear, a lot of the compounds are gonna speed up the process of male pattern baldness. Now that's not to say it's gonna happen to everyone, it's genetic based, but if you're already predisposed to getting male pattern baldness at some point, maybe your father has it, your grandfather, you're starting to notice it already, and it's like a slow, steady, gradual onset. There is preventative things you can do, of course, but just taking anabolics is gonna speed up the process and make it happen even faster, where you know maybe you're 22, like this guy, and you're already having the hairline of something, someone that's like in their 40s or 50s. So I just wanted to shed some light on that video that was going around on Instagram, TikTok, and uh, YouTube Shorts, and let you guys know, be safe, be smart. If it's something you wanna do, by all means, go for it, but I want you guys to be aware of what you're potentially getting into, and how to mitigate things that could potentially arise or happen. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will catch you in the next one.